This will be the last part uh, of section 2.2. This is going to be talking about the equation of a tangent line. So this is uh, some of the most confused things that we do uh, when we're dealing with basic derivatives. It's because what happens is, is students start to think that the equation of the tangent line is the same as the derivative, and it's not. Remember, we from the last section or the last part, we had talked about that the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. Even though you get an equation in your in your derivative, that doesn't mean that that's the equation of the tangent line. That's just a slope. So a lot of times when we think of slope, everyone's most students are thinking we need to have a number, but in calculus that's not true. The slope of a tangent line can change. So if you looked at this curve, the slope at any given point on this tan or on this curve could be different. So that's the reason why our slope, also known as derivative, is a has variables in it because the slope will always change. So all we're going to be doing is adding one element to this now is how do we figure out what the equation of our tangent line is? So before we talked about how to find the slope at this given value, say x equals negative 2, but what we haven't talked about is what's the actual equation of this tangent line? So really what it's getting into is we're talking about things that you've already learned before, which is using slope intercept form and point slope. So one thing that we want to talk about is there are two different forms we can use. We can use either slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b, or we can use point slope form, y minus y1 uh, equals m times x minus x1. Believe it or not, in calculus, the point slope form is a little bit easier to use because what's happening is, is we are going to take a function we're going to find the slope by using the derivative and then we're going to use a point on that graph or the point that it's going through to figure out what the equation is. So it says find an equation of the tangent line to the graph f of x equals x squared when x equals negative 2. Well the first thing is, is we know we have to find the slope. So to find the slope we take the derivative f of x equals 2x. So there's our derivative, that's how we find the slope. We plug in our negative 2, so it's 2 times negative 2, which is equal to negative 4. So therefore, our slope is equal to negative 4. So we're done with that portion. So now, what we need now, what we need to do to finish off this problem, so it doesn't matter which form we use here, we have y equals mx plus b, and what I'm going to do is let's trade this out. We're going to put the negative 4 there now. Or it could be y minus y1 equals negative 4 times x minus x1. So either one of these forms will work. But if you notice, what we need is if we want to figure out what our b is, we need an x and a y value. If we want to find out what our y1 and our x1 are, we need an x and a y value. Well, we already have our x value. They give it to us. So what we want to do is figure out what is our y value when x equals negative 2. So that means we plug negative 2 into our original equation. Negative 2 squared equals 4. So the coordinate we're dealing with here is negative 2 comma 4. So we can use this point. We can either plug it into our top equation to figure out what our b is. So plug in negative 2 for x, plug in 4 for y. So we'll do both of these. So 4 equals negative 4 times negative 2 plus b. So we have 4 equals positive 8 plus b. Therefore, b is equal to negative 4. So our equation would be y equals negative 4x minus 4. So that's one way to get the equation. Or if we want to use the point slope form, what we do is we just simply plug in our 4 for our y1, our negative 2 for our x1, and we would get y minus 4 equals negative 4 times x minus a negative 2. So our final answer here would be y minus 4 equals negative 4 times x plus 2. And you can leave it like this. If you're going to do it in point slope, you can leave it in point slope. You don't need to simplify and bring it back, bring everything back over to the right hand side. This is sufficient. This is sufficient. If we did bring everything over to the right, you would notice these two equations end up being exactly the same. You can do it either way. It doesn't matter. Uh, just you know, pick a way that is most comfortable for you. But the point is, is that we are 
finding the slope of our curve at any given point. That's by finding the derivative. We again plug in our x value that they give us, substitute that in to get the slope. So our slope here was negative 4. Then we use the point to figure out what our equation is. So again, this is not the equation of the tangent line. This is the slope of the tangent line, and we get a value by plugging in the x value that is given to us. Then we take that and create our equation based on what the x and y value are at this point, and then uh, using either slope intercept form or point slope. Again, we have a problem below. Try and do this one on your own. Find the uh, equation of the tangent line to this graph on your own. Hit pause, and when you're ready, hit play and see if you get the right answer. All right, so what we have here is we have our derivative is 6x minus 6. Plug in our value of 3 to get our slope. Our slope is 12 for this tangent line. Then we plug our x equals 3 into our original function to get our y value. So this is the point that we're dealing with, 3 comma 13. So then you can either write out your point slope form, so that's an equation of the tangent line, or you can use y equals 12x plus b, solve for b, and get this as your tangent line. Again, both of these equations are exactly the same, uh, just one is in point slope form and one is in slope intercept form. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, again, take your Edmodo quiz if that's been assigned and bring questions to class as needed. I'll see you then.